Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I was originally doing with this project of making a double outlet for some of my electronics like my camera, my whole drive, and also my printer as well. But one thing I'm going to warn you with, be very careful, electrical is very dangerous, but what I was trying to do was to show you on how you can make something like this for yourself and for using it for something else, but the issue is I've been interrupted by a phone call and I deleted my whole footage off of my memory card and I do apologize for that but one thing I will explain to you about what type of gauge wire I used was 12 2 gauge saw cup wire with a larger style capacity uh, box with two uh, outlets here with the reciprocals facing up you can also face them down and everything seems to be wired correctly. The box is bonded as well. I taped the wire uh, nuts in the outlets themselves. And I also have a 15 year uh, plug on this end as well. But I'm going to go through the tools and also the own stuff I have here as well. But this is the outlets I used uh, for this project. This is a 15 amp outlet uh, with uh, 125 volts. There's your ground, your hot, and your neutral. On here, the silver side is where your neutral goes, and your ground, and also your hot as well. Now, of course, on the back of these, these have these lazy uh, push-in connectors. I don't recommend using those at all. But those are only meant for 14 gauge uh, wire, but not 12. These are much uh, better uh, solid uh, connector right there as well. Now, the types of tools I used for this is a pair of dikes, a wire cutter with silver, a flathead uh, screwdriver, of course, a pair of scissors for the electrical tape, a pretty worn out, beat up. Uh, electrical uh, strippers here, uh, Phillips screwdriver, and new nose pliers, and of course these big, nice, heavy old uh, pair of pliers as well. Uh, here is the electrical tape I used for everything to tape the wire nuts, and of course here you have the two screws that go to the actual case itself. And of course, we have the outlet tester itself. It's a very easy to tell if you have a bad uh, connection and stuff, but this works pretty good. And it tells you if your ground is reversed or your hot and neutral is reversed. But I hope this is all up to code and for everything else to work uh, properly. But I'm not going to go over um, uh, 15 amps on this, but typically you should use a uh, 14 gauge wire instead of actual the heavier gauge uh, thicker wire. And you can see in the corner of the hill is my test uh, GSCI outlet. I tore this apart. This was originally on this receptacle, but this was on this one. But I just switched everything out. But let's go ahead and do a quick test here with my outlet, making sure it's correctly wired. And it is. And I want to uh, test this as well. But let me uh, bring this up and show you what the wiring looks like. You can see that black with black, white with white, and bill copper with bill copper is the ground. And down below the box is 100% ground. This is a metal uh, junction box. But I would not recommend using this outside. Uh, you would have to change everything here completely everything the reciprocals and outlet and the box as well now one thing is i'm going to do is i'm going to fold the lid down i pigtailed everything to get all uh, with pigtails instead of jumping the uh wires from one terminal to the other one 
I just easily decided to do that. Now, let's uh, fold this down. Now, do be careful with your 12 gauge dryer. It's a lot thicker and it's not very easy to work with. And let's go and put that in now. And put this over here to my test outlet. Now, what are you thinking? It's like, oh, I could have used a strand of cable. Yes, that would have been nice uh, for this electrical uh, project as well. But I was out of my crimp on connectors with the raw arrows on them to connect to the terminals themselves. And if I push it, we are completely uh, correct here. I don't have anything reversed. Let me check this side. And it works completely the same. Now this is a two reciprocal outlets. Once I kicked the power off, the unit is now dead. Now typically this will be hardwired into a actual electrical panel if you wanted to do it that way too. Now you can swap these out uh, to put two 20 amp outlets and a 20 amp uh, plug on that. But it looks absolutely pretty good. And I really do enjoy doing this myself. But be very careful. And again, make sure you get everything right the first time. And make sure you don't have any errors like I did with the neutral. Because make sure you make these pigtails longer instead of short. Because it's a lot harder to get these wire nuts in. And everything seems to uh, be pretty good. And yes, the electrical tape is here for a reason, for a couple of safety reasons as well. It's your preference if you want to do that, that's uh, up to you. But I think it turned out uh, pretty nice. And this is going to get mounted onto my dresser for my uh, camera, my hard drive, and my uh, pencil as well. Alright, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, well please see you in the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching, have a nice day.